Hello, this is Hellbend again, and welcome back to part four. Yeah, part four of um, creating your own smart auto clicker. <clears throat> okay, so let me get caught up. I always end up taking a break after uh, doing these videos, so um, I get a little bit lost. Okay, so we just created our temp. So we're checking to make sure that our X and Y haven't changed. If they have changed, we're going to change our value to 1. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a if statement that's going to check to see if that value is in fact 1. So if is paused is paused equals equals 1, we're going to go do something else. And this is where we're going to actually check constantly if we're um, if we're, our cursor is moved back inside of our box. So if we move it outside of the box, we get a paused value of 1. But if it goes back into that box, we want it to restart our clicker. So that's what we're going to check for now. Okay, so let me see. Um, okay, so what we want to do is have a loop, and um, you have a loop, and inside of the loop, what do I want? Okay, I think the first thing I guess I want to do is I want to check to see, to make sure that we haven't stopped it. Because we might have stopped at some point during this, so we're going to check to make sure that it hasn't been stopped. So if stop equals equals 1, we're just going to break again. Yeah, I think I think that's good. Okay. Uh, that's one of the problem. This is always one of the problems of doing these kind of things on the fly. Is uh, I know what I want it to do. It's just sometimes arranging my thoughts to be able to get put it down on paper or in this case on uh, on the computer screen. Okay. Um. So what we're going to do now is, as long as it hasn't been stopped, we're going to check again our mouse position. So we're going to say mouse get position. And we're going to use that same temp variable again. We don't need to create new variables because it's just a temp variable, so we can override it. Our temp x and our temp y. Okay, so we checked our temp x and our temp y. The next thing we're going to do is we're also going to check to make sure our window is the right window. So when um, get title, and then we're going to create our temp variable again for this. So temp window, and we need it to be our active window. Okay. <clears throat> Let me see. So we've done that. We checked that. And now what we need to do is check to see if our cursor is actually inside of that box. And the way we're going to do that is if. So we want two things. We want to check if we're on the right window. And we'll do that first. So if um, temp window equals equals. Uh, our target window. If it equals our target window and, which is ampersand, ampersand, and if our temp x is less than or equal to, less than or equal to, 
and then this next part because we're going to have a math a little bit of math in it it's not much it's just we're going to add or, or subtract so we're going to say if it's if it's equal to our tar if it's equal or less than our target x plus half of our box size and we created a variable which equals half of our box size which i think we called size x okay yes we did okay so so if, if this is our target x so if the temp x is greater is less than or equal to our target x plus the size of x size x which is half the size of our box so we'll go ahead and close that now because the math is done so that's one now we need an, another and so this is ampersand ampersand and once again we're going to check temp x and we're going to check this time if it's greater than or equal to the size of our target I mean the target x and can you guess what we're going to do next if you guessed we're going to subtract the size of x you are right okay so that's our t test for our x location now we needed to do the same thing for our y so we'll just do ampersand ampersand and it's the exact same thing so we have temp well, temp y so we're saying if temp y is less than or is less than or equal to and then once again in brackets our target y and we're going to add add the size of y okay yes okay and okay so that's one and the last one so we need another ampersand ampersand and we are going to go temp if temp y is greater than or equal to in brackets our target y minus our size y and then I close that and then to close it all off we put another parenthesis oops another close parenthesis okay <clears throat> so if our target if our current window is the same as our target window and if our temp if our X location right now is the same as our target or if it's within that box and it's within that box and it's within that box it's within within that box so all of these things every single one of these things has to be true every single one of them have to be true in order for the next thing to happen and all that is going to be is we are going to change the value of is paused is paused colon equals is paused colon equals zero so that way it's not gonna loop oh we need to break out of this loop first so we're gonna break okay so we break out of this loop and we're gonna come back up to the top again and now because our is paused isn't is zero again it's gonna start clicking for us again until we move our cursor again which is going to send it make it paused which is going to start searching for these things again <clears throat> okay I think I think that's almost it for that let me think <clears throat> um I think that's it. 
I think that is it. Okay, um... During one of the previous episodes, I had included a link to a paste bin file. Another thing that you are going to have, if you're still watching, that you're going to have an advantage over the people that just took that script and ran, is we're going to actually, I'm going to show you how to create a um, counter. So that way, it'll actually show you the counts. You don't have to use it. It actually, by using this count, it'll slow the script down. But it's just a tiny, tiny bit. Now you have two options. You have the option where every time you stop the auto clicker, it's going to reset the value of your count. Or you have the option of every, even if you stop it, if you restart it again, it's still going to have the same number. So if I did 100 clicks and then I stopped it, not just pause, but actually stop with the control Y. I'll finish this. Okay, so like I said, if I want it to keep counting, even if I stop it and then come back, what I'm going to want to do is declare this variable outside of that. So near the top, just under these guys, I'll say I semi, um, semicolon e colon equals and then zero. So I have a counting variable that I and it equals zero. This way, it's going to keep track. Even if I stop it, it's still going to keep track. So if it was 100 before I stopped it, when I restart it, it's going to be 100 still, and it's going to continue from there. If I don't want that, if I every time I stop it and then restart it, if I want it to start counting again, what I'll do is inside of this, let's say right under the is paused, I'm going to do my colon equals I and for this I'm gonna do it inside so it restarts every single time okay and then rate right at my click as soon as it's finished sending the click just before the sleep I'm gonna increment my I by saying I plus plus and then immediately after that I am going to have a tool tip and it's just going to have the variable i. So as it runs through the loop, i is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger, and this is just going to display that. If um, if the script gets stopped, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to uh, get rid of that tooltip because if you pause it or whatever, it's just going to uh, leave that tooltip up on the screen. So if is paused equals one, we'll do first here, we'll just do tool, tool tip, and that's it. Just tool tip on its own, and that way it'll remove the tool tip off the screen. And once again, we're going to have the same thing in our stop. So in our Y hotkey, right under the hot, the stop, we are going to hit put another tool tip. And once again, we're not going to add anything to it, so this way it'll just disappear. If you want to keep the number on the screen, don't do what I just did for the last two things. All right, okay, so I'm going to save, and then we're going to test when we come back. I'll see you on part five. Once again, if you like these series and you want to see more of them, make sure that you leave a like. Um, and uh, let me know if you're using this this uh, auto clicker already. Let me know what you're using it for and uh, what your experience with it. Do you like it? Do you not like it? You know, leave me a message and I'll see you on the next